Hello, my name is Piers Sellers. I'm a scientist and astronaut. I'm delighted to be a champion for the Edinburgh Beltane Beacon for Public Engagement, for which you are all gathered here to launch tonight. Now, I'm very aware that Edinburgh researchers have considerable interest and expertise in public engagement. And it's wonderful that you've secured this Beacon project to support and encourage your colleagues to engage the public and policymakers with their research. The goal of embedding a culture of public engagement in our universities is key, and I'm sure that it will reap benefits for all of you. Now, you may have figured out from the suit that I'm wearing that I'm a NASA employee. One of the most important things that we do at NASA is to promote the culture of science and engineering to the public, and to school kids in particular. To my mind, it is essential that those of us who actually do the work in challenging technical fields pass on our experiences to young people. We need to tell them how intriguing and rewarding this kind of stuff can be and give them an idea about the excitement of trying to do something new and difficult. And I have to tell you, it's fun telling young people about these things. You can see their eyes light up and you can see them thinking about possible futures for themselves that they maybe never thought about before. So at NASA, there's a strongly embedded culture of public engagement here and the organization and staff benefit enormously from that and clearly understand the value of this work. NASA is a very visible public institution in the United States, just like the University of Edinburgh is in the United Kingdom. We at NASA know how important it is that our supporters, the taxpaying public, understand what we do and how we do it. This exchange of information is very important for both sides. Now I'm betting that the same holds true for the university. Everything that NASA does is an investment in the future, be it science, technology development, or engineering. In the early stages of most of our programs, when the going is hard and the bills are coming in and there isn't much to show for the time and effort spent, it is very tempting to back away from the public engagement business. And likewise, when things are going really well and everyone was working flat out, public outreach can often get dropped off the priority list. We at NASA have learned that it is critical to engage the public in good times and bad, as both reflect the reality of what we do. Every astronaut and many of our staff here are trained to ensure that the value of space research is well understood and remains relevant to people around the world. You already have a lot to celebrate with the award and what's been achieved so far. Important partnerships have been forged, which will enrich your knowledge and provide wonderful opportunities for future work. I know that the various partners in the Edinburgh Beltane have worked together before on projects, and this will stand you in good stead when you come to develop future activities together and share what you have learned. There are some great resources in the partnership, such as the Royal Botanic Gardens, the Dynamic Earth Science Centre, and the National Museum Scotland, which all have facilities for working with the public. The University of the Highlands and Islands has developed great facilities for engaging remote and geographically scattered communities. So we have some great opportunities to develop unique expertise in communicating research to all sorts of groups around Scotland. From my experience at NASA, we know that it's quite possible to engage effectively when you are remote from your audience, be it from the flight deck of a space shuttle or across the Atlantic.